the theme of this collection is the no gender style. We want to have the same effect you have when you look at a mirror. You have the black, the white, and in between the different shades of pink that comes out, that pops out from the, the light. That's what I wanted to recreate in this collection. In the summer, uh, the, the main feeling is being happy, so I wanted to recreate this happiness in my collection using very, very light fabrics that I usually don't use with the Shu collections. So I used a mix of silk and modal, very, very thin, that is used for the, the stalls. And uh, I have it, I made it in uh, lavender pink, light blue, white and black. It's sewn within the collar of the shirt and it can be uh, it can be used in very different ways depending on your, your mood. <laughs> I wanted to keep the dandy, rock dandy look that is my look, but I wanted to add something new with the pink that I never did before. Pink was a keyword. I did collections before using pink, but I never wore pink myself. And so this time I wanted to find a color that would go very well with the all black look that I use uh, mostly. So that's why I came up with uh, the pink and white as well, so we can mix it together. I think that summer is the time of the year where you, you can wear something a bit crazy that you wouldn't wear on a daily basis. So that's why I chose pink as well. So actually as Rinshu I've been making collection for men's and women's for the past five years and next year in January it will be my 25th anniversary of uh, Paris collection. So I want this collection to be uh, a gap, a step before something new that I will create, I will present next year. Actually, uh, from next year, from January 2016, I want to present a highest uh, quality, highest couture menswear for the Paris collection. The haute couture for men doesn't really exist, so I want to challenge, take the challenge and try to make it by myself. So we'll see. <laughs>